metabolic syndrome as a risk factor for total hip or knee replacement due to primary osteoarthritis, a prospective cohort study from the Hunt study and the Norwegian Arthroplasty Register. This is a happy person in his best years, who is active and still has a lot of active years ahead of him, but gradually he develops osteoarthritis in his hips and knees and just walking down the street becomes painful. Unfortunately, there are no medications that can cure or stop the disease, so the definitive treatment for severe osteoarthritis is a total hip or knee replacement. We therefore need to identify risk factors for osteoarthritis so we can reduce the risk of acquiring osteoarthritis in the first place. Overweight is a well-known risk factor, probably because of direct mechanical load on the cartilage of the joint. But some researchers have found that overweight people also have an increased risk of osteoarthritis in non-weight-bearing joints, like the wrist or the hand. And there is no research that show that overweight people walk more on their hands than others. So, are there metabolic changes associated with obesity that could accelerate osteoarthritis beyond the effect of mechanical factors? This question has led to an interest in the metabolic syndrome that consists of the components increased weight circumference, hypertension, high triglycerides, low high-density lipoprotein, or HDL, or impaired glucose tolerance, or diabetes. And if you have three or more of these, you have metabolic syndrome. This study investigated whether metabolic syndrome and its components were risk factors for subsequent total hip replacement or total knee replacement due to primary osteoarthritis. We used data from the participants in the second survey of the Nordtrend Lug Health Study, HUNT2, and linked this data to the Norwegian Arthroplasty Register for identification of the outcome of total hip replacement or total knee replacement. The analysis was stratified by age, under 50 years, from 50 to 69.9 years, and over 70 years, and adjusted for sex, body mass index or BMI, smoking, physical activity, and education. In this prospective cohort study, we used the Cox regression analysis to follow each participant from baseline until they got a hip replacement due to osteoarthritis, or a knee replacement due to osteoarthritis, or moved, or died, or participated until the end of follow-up, which was December 2013. Of the 62,661 participants, 20% were identified as having metabolic syndrome, and we recorded 1,840 total hip replacements and 1,111 total knee replacements. To interpret the following figures, it is important to know that there is an increased risk if the 95% confidence interval is above 1, no risk if it crosses 1, and a decreased risk if it's below 1. This is the main analysis. On the left you have THR, which stands for total hip replacement, and TKR, which stands for total knee replacement. On the top, you see that we divided the results into three different age groups. So let's focus on the full metabolic syndrome first. Here we see that there is no association between metabolic syndrome and total hip replacement or total knee replacement, except in persons under 50 years with metabolic syndrome. They had a decreased risk of total hip replacement. However, when including participants whose exposure status did not change during follow-up, this protective association was no longer significant. If we look at individual components, we see that increased waist circumference was associated with increased risk of total knee replacement in participants under 50 years and in those between 50 and 69.9 years. Hypertension significantly increased the risk of total knee replacement in participants under 50 years and this finding was strongest for men. When including only participants whose exposure status did not change during follow-up, these findings were still present. So to conclude, this study found an increased risk of total knee replacement in women and men under 70 years with increased waist circumference and in men under 50 years with hypertension. Apart from this, neither metabolic syndrome nor its components were associated with increased risk of total hip replacement or total knee replacement due to primary osteoarthritis. If you want to know more, please see your paper in Clinical Epidemiology.